We'll start with the Mustad S70 size 10 wet fly hook. This is a two extra heavy hook. We've got shear 40 knot black. We just attach our tying thread. This is the Cormorant Mini Lure. Excellent pattern, I love to fish. Remove that and we'll go back just until the tying thread starts to fall into the bend a little. I've got three peacock curls. I'm going to tie in with the tips. I'll go along the hook shank with these just to give a little bit more substance. And we can remove those. Then I want to go around ten times or so at the hook eye. Hold the peacock curls now. And carefully rotate your vise. Take them forward. Need a couple of more winds there. And then we'll swap that over and come up and tie those off. And turn that around so we don't cut into our tying thread when I remove them. Just start at the hook eye just to clean up the tying for the wing. There we are. We take the tip of a black marabou plume and we pull all the tips together. That'll do me that. I cut that off. good. Go forward to the hook eye, work our way up like so. Excellent. Then we need some holographic red tinsel. I like to cut the points to this to a point. It should be a little longer than the wing. We just need a couple of turns to tack that in. And then the same on the other side. That's a bit short. That's good. And we can just secure those. Trim them off. Then, this isn't necessary, but I like to do it. Uh, jungle cock eye. There. And another one here. I can trim those off as well. I go down to the hook eye. We work our way up. This should have a substantial head. Like so. Whip finisher. Trim it off and drop a varnish.
and that's the finished cormorant mini lure. It's a lovely pattern to fish. Uh, a lot of people fish it like a nymph, but uh, I like to fish it as a small streamer, small lure. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching.